At Ellis Brigham, we take ski testing really seriously, and this involves two different ski tests. The first one is done early in the season. Everything's put through its paces and compared, we make the decisions what we're going to stock. Later on in the season, we bring staff out to Austria. Here, the staff test all the skis that we've decided to go in the range. This means we can make sure we've made all the correct decisions, but it also means that when you come into any of our stores, the staff there can give you personal advice. They know exactly how the ski skis because they've been on them. So we have a deep tail rocker, okay? We have a waist suite of 95, okay? And we are developing this shape because we wanna have a good hiking ski, but at the same time with the best downhill performance on the market. Usually the scope of Blizzard while developing the two skis is always to have, of course, a really good hiking, but to have a really good performance downhill. Construction-wise, uh, we also improve even if uh, from a lot of consumer, we will see later, we had super good feedback also in terms of performance downhill. So what we did is we additionally improve our carbon drying 3D technology. So we reduce tip and tail a bit the carbon in order to give to the skier be able that is even less nervous compared to the previous one. Because one of the problems when you're skiing with such kind of skis is that usually they are a little bit trembling too much, too nervous. So our ski is giving you also really good performance on this regard. Then you have the wood that is the Paulonia that is, all, is giving really lightness to the ski. The sort of skier is a, a guy that is likely, he, he likes to hiking but at the same time you want to really enjoy the downhill usually what is happening is that you're coming on the top you're really tired you would like to enjoy because you know you watered it and you cannot because they are trembling too much so this is the ski to really enjoy the downhill imagine that also today during the ski test a lot of people were using this on piece and they said that it was skiing amazingly so I've just been skiing in a Zero G 95. Uh, it's snowing quite heavily here. Uh, so there's quite a lot of uh, fresh snow even on piste. Uh, and it's just a perfect ski for everything. It's very light for touring, but I was chasing ski racers down the piste and I could keep up with them. Uh, and it's pretty impressive in, for, for such, a, such a good ski. If you want to take slightly longer turns, it's still very stable, it doesn't chatter been just fantastic to ski. There was fresh snow on piste but uh, I went a bit on the side as well in slightly deeper deeper snow. Uh, even if it's not as uh, floaty as a bigger ski could be uh, it's still super fun and it's something you can uh, easily take on a more free ride orientated kind of a journey.